So this is how Babylon's trying to disguise their invasion. This is coming from NPR on point, Tom Ashbrook. They're covering it right now as we speak. And basically this show is on mapping ourselves. So it sounds like a real civilized <clears throat> place to be in, a place where you're gonna map yourselves. And even somebody wrote a book that says, finding ourselves. But what is the basis of it? That angel for the Antichrist, the smartphone. And instead of speaking about what the smartphone's doing, see, the smartphone didn't just come into existence for no reason. This was the result of many decades of research and development by the U.S. military. And there's a reason for that. See, the U.S. military wanted to conquer. And it was a conquest since the days of Caesar. And life was, if you were the one that could conquer the world, then you were the anointed one. And so we began our journey to conquer the world. And we did so by becoming experts in dominating land, air, sea, and more recently space and information. Information. And this is critical. You can do studies on Adolf Hitler and other figures in society that, that, that sought to dominate and oppress entire populations and you'll find out that there were experts in delivering messages propaganda so this is just an example of propaganda put out by our federal government because even though the laws are written as to disguise the real motives and the real benefactors we all know that the national public radio is the voice of our federal government and that doesn't mean it's not benefiting a lot of big businesses because that's what it is. Our, our federal government protects big businesses. See, everything's flipped. It used to be the government made roads. You know, we chipped into a same, the same pot. And we determined as people what, what kind of communities we wanted to live in, what kind of protections. What, you know, it was us. It was us. It was an efficient way to deliver certain goods and services that no individual people could not otherwise do but it's gotten out of our hands because of big business everything's benefiting people people are in on the take and instead of just framing the dialogue the arguments the way they need to be framed you know to put things into perspective and to educate people instead we're going to be trying to persuade people that the new age way is okay the new age way is okay and i'm trying to tell you it's not these people are targeting you they you know let's say you go shop for a car shop for a house you're gonna have some article pop up and it's going to tell you how you need to buy the house now because the, the, the real estate market's going way down. And it's about to start going back up. You know, there's creative marketing going on. And we, unless you're living in one of these little enclaves like the Silicon Valleyers, where everything's lovely and happy all the time, you know, we, we got some real problems. And the way that we are adapting our civilians to these unnatural phenomenons is affecting us all you know it's like if everyone's in on the take and it becomes normal then the person that you're speaking with assumes that you're in on the take too they assume that you're living in mud, living in dirt. And you may not be. 
but you're subject to the same prejudices. And it becomes normal to take advantage of your brother. And people expect that to the point where is if you don't take advantage of your brother, people look at you as if you're inferior. And that's a dangerous place to be in.